What is the main problem addressed in the paper? The main problem addressed in the paper is the development of observational scaling laws to understand and predict the scaling behaviors of language models, LMs, across different model families, capabilities, and post-training interventions. The paper aims to overcome the limitations of traditional compute scaling laws by proposing a low-cost, higher-resolution alternative that leverages existing open models to build scaling laws based on observable benchmark performance and capability measures. By identifying a low-dimensional space of LM capabilities and demonstrating log-linear relationships between these capabilities and training compute measures, the paper provides a method for predicting complex LM capabilities, such as emergent and agentic behaviors, as well as the effectiveness of post-training techniques like chain of thought. The observational scaling approach allows for cost-effective scaling predictions, higher resolution analyses, and the ability to study the impact of different scaling strategies and model families on downstream performance and interventions. How does the proposed observational scaling method work? Illustrate step by step. The proposed observational scaling method works by first extracting a low-dimensional capability measure for language models, LMs, from observable benchmark performance. This capability measure is obtained through principal component analysis, PCA, on a matrix of benchmark metrics for a broad set of models. The top principal components, PCs, are identified as the principal capability measures that capture most of the variance in LM capabilities. These PC measures are then shown to scale log linearly with training flops within each model family, serving as a surrogate scale for scaling analysis of complex LM capabilities. Next, the method involves fitting regression models using the PC measures to predict downstream error metrics that measure LM capabilities. The regression weights and bias are determined through ordinary least squares regression, with a sigmoidal scale function applied to account for potential discrepancies in performance. The fitted regression models allow for accurate predictions of LM capabilities, even when using models with weaker performance. Furthermore, the capability dimensions identified through the PC measures are visualized to understand the importance of different capabilities in predicting LM performance. The weights assigned to base evaluation metrics on various benchmarks are derived from the regression weights and provide insights into which capabilities are crucial for LM performance. Additionally, the method includes a process for selecting low-cost model subsets for practical scaling analyses. This involves optimizing the selection of models based on a constrained optimization problem, where the objective is to minimize the expected prediction error while selecting a subset of models within a specified budget constraint. The selection process is guided by the theory of optimal experimental design and aims to identify an optimal set of models that maintain high prediction accuracy while reducing evaluation costs. Overall, the observational scaling method leverages observable benchmark performance, PCA analysis, regression modeling, and model selection techniques to build scaling laws that accurately predict the scaling behaviors of LM capabilities across different model families and scales. What are the benefits of using observational scaling compared to traditional compute scaling laws? The benefits of using observational scaling compared to traditional compute scaling laws include 1. Cost effectiveness. Observational scaling does not incur training costs, making it a low-cost alternative to traditional compute scaling laws. 2. Higher resolution. Observational scaling leverages a larger number of models, providing higher resolution in scaling analyses compared to traditional methods that rely on a single model family. 3. Broader coverage. Observational scaling allows for the inclusion of model families with different scaling properties and capabilities, providing a more comprehensive understanding of scaling behaviors. 4. Predictive accuracy. Observational scaling laws accurately predict the scaling behaviors of LM capabilities, such as emergent phenomena and agentic abilities, even when using weaker models for forecasting. 5. Interpretability. 
Observational scaling allows for the interpretation of capability dimensions and their impact on post-training interventions, providing insights into how different capabilities affect scaling recipes. 6. Flexibility. Observational scaling can be applied to a diverse range of LM models from heterogeneous sources, enabling the study of various scaling strategies and their impact on downstream performance. 7. Ease of implementation. Observational scaling is straightforward to apply, as it involves fitting regression models with PC measures to predict downstream metrics accurately. 8. Validation and updating. Observational scaling laws can be systematically validated through holdout sets and pre-registered for future models, ensuring the accuracy and reliability of predictions. 9. Optimal model selection. Observational scaling allows for the selection of optimal model subsets based on V-optimality criteria, reducing evaluation costs while maintaining high prediction accuracy. 10. Practical applications. Observational scaling can be used for benchmarking, optimization, and evaluation of LM capabilities, providing a versatile tool for researchers and practitioners in the field. How were the model families and benchmarks selected for the study? The model families and benchmarks for the study were selected based on a systematic approach outlined in the paper. For the model families, a broad set of 21 model families covering a wide range of scales and capabilities were included in the analysis. These model families included models trained from various recipes, such as standard training recipes like Llama and Quen, models trained on synthetic data like Phi, and models specifically trained on code data like Code Llama and StarCoder. Only pre-trained base models were considered to avoid complexities introduced by instruction tuning. Additionally, an analysis for instruction-tuned models, including proprietary ones like GPT-4 and Claude-2, was included separately. For the benchmarks, a diverse set of standardized benchmarks assessing various LM capabilities were collected. These benchmarks included popular aggregated benchmarks like MMLU for general knowledge assessment, as well as specialized evaluations like ARC-C, Helleswag, Winogrande for reasoning, GSM-8K for mathematical reasoning, Human Eval for programming, Truthful QA for truthfulness, and x for multilingual capabilities. The metrics for these benchmarks were compiled from standardized evaluation protocols for comparability across different LMs. The selection of models and benchmarks was done systematically to ensure a comprehensive coverage of capabilities and scales for the scaling analysis conducted in the study. What were the results of predicting emergent capabilities using observational scaling laws? The results of predicting emergent capabilities using observational scaling laws showed that some emergent phenomena follow a smooth sigmoidal curve, which can be accurately predicted using small sub-LAMA 27B models. The higher resolution of observational scaling laws allowed for clear visualization of smooth sigmoidal curves in phenomena previously identified as emergent. Surprisingly, the transition points where models shift from near-random to high-performance could often be accurately forecasted using models with slightly above-random performance. This demonstrated the effectiveness of observational scaling laws in accurately predicting emergent capabilities and highlighted the potential of higher-resolution scaling laws in understanding scaling phenomena for language models, LMs. What are the potential future applications of the identified low-dimensional capability space in LM research? The potential future applications of the identified low-dimensional capability space in LM research include using it as an evaluation metric and optimization target for LMs. The low-dimensional space of LM capabilities can capture their scaling behaviors and be measured via a low-rank decomposition of existing LM benchmarks. This space, particularly PC1, serves as a smooth capability measure with a high dynamic range, allowing for comparisons across models of different capabilities on a unified scale. This capability measure can be used to compare compute efficiencies across various model families, 
providing insights into the trade-off between training compute and capabilities. Additionally, the low-dimensional capability space can be utilized to analyze the interactions between post-training techniques and model families, identifying which families benefit the most from specific techniques and at what point they start to benefit. This analysis can help understand how different LM training recipes impact model scaling behaviors and performance improvements from post-training interventions.